If you don't put any structure around your requirements, you will be unable to find the missing ones and they will be virtually impossible for the business to review or your developers to use. After all, how many of us had developers use requirements documents as a paperweight and never even crack the document? So we use models and requirements to organize the information with multiple views into it. That helps us to identify missing gaps in the information that show up in the form of glaring holes in the models. We may still have to have detailed written requirement statements in addition to those models, but the visual model gives context to that lower level of detail. The models also allow us to focus in on a smaller subset of the requirements. That might be helpful in analysis, reviewing requirements, building code for a small section of the system, or writing test cases. One thing to remember is that our elicitation sessions may be driving us to models, not all the detailed requirements. And then, on our own, we can do analysis to extract the detailed requirements from those models. And sometimes the models will be able to stand on their own, so the development team can use them just as is. The point is, though, requirements models may not be the only thing you have to create. RML is a language we developed full of visualization models. RML gives you a set of tools that you can use on your projects. Each model in the language is designed to be as simple as possible and convey only the necessary information about your requirements. There are some models and requirements that we've seen where the syntax to create the model is so complicated that you need a lesson on how to read the model. We really try to avoid that and only use the fewest number of shapes and boxes necessary to convey what your information you're trying to show. Further, there is a lot of research around requirements modeling language being worked on right now. Again, many of those have great concepts that we can reuse, but in their purest form, we find them challenging for our business users to understand quickly. I'd much rather my business users spend their time understanding the requirements we modeled rather than the language we used to model them in. The goal is to have the model be self-explanatory, such that anyone can create them on your team and anyone can read them without any training at all.